Hey guys, David here from Goo 55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace and or upgrade the RAM in your Acer Aspire 1 netbook. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make sure that you have all the things that you're going to need to do this. So the things that you need are your new RAM, obviously, or your replacement RAM. Uh, you are going to need something that is very flat. I'm using a small flathead screwdriver, but you can use pretty much anything that won't damage the laptop. This is to remove the keyboard and get access to the RAM. And you're also going to need a small Phillips screwdriver to basically undo the back plate so that we can replace the RAM. Now, this model of Acer Aspire 1 that I have here is the D270. I'm sure that some of you watching this have a different model, but the process is pretty much the same for all Acer Aspire 1 laptops. Now currently I have one gigabyte of RAM in this and I'm going to be upgrading it to two gigabytes. So when you go and buy your replacement or upgrade RAM, make sure that you get the right type. For example, this model here takes DDR3 notebook RAM. Also make sure that you know the maximum amount of RAM that your netbook can handle before you go out and buy a new RAM stick. Okay, so let's get started with the actual RAM upgrade or replacement process. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is that you're going to need to touch something that is metal that is touching the ground. This will just make sure that you don't have any static on you and that you won't damage the laptop or get any shocks. Now the second thing that you are going to need to do is you are going to need to flip over the netbook. First of all, make sure that it is unplugged. And uh, you need to go ahead and flip it over and you need to remove the battery by pressing on this tab over here and just sliding out the battery. This will just make sure that, once again, you won't get any shocks. You can flip it back over, and what I like to do is, I just like to press the power button just to make sure that there is no extra power still left in there, okay? And uh, the first thing that you're going to need to do is, once again, open up the netbook, and this is where you're going to pry off the keyboard. So this is where you need something that's very small and flat to come in. I'm using a small flathead screwdriver, but once again, you could use pretty much anything that's small and flat. Now you're gonna wanna start in the corner over here, and you're just gently gonna wanna pry upwards until you can get your hand under. The so you're just gonna wanna gently pry upwards in the corner until you can get a finger or two under there, and that's when you wanna start snapping out the keyboard. So do it very gently, because this is fragile, and just snap. It should start snapping out along the top. Okay, so once it is completely snapped out, flipped over very gently because there's a ribbon cable connected to the and bottom. You can see over here the connector that holds the keyboard to the computer. So what you're going to want to do is just take your flat thing again and gently, very gently, pry up on that black, uh, that black hinge there and then the keyboard should come right out. Now put it somewhere where it won't get damaged while we're doing the upgrade. Okay, next you're going to want to remove all the screws that are clearly labeled door. Don't remove any other ones, just the ones that are labeled door. You're going to want to use your small Phillips screwdriver for this, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and removed all the screws labeled door, you're going to see a little thing here that says door release. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lift up the corner of your netbook a bit and just press this inwards until you hear a few clicks. Don't press it down, don't press it up, press it inwards. So towards the floor, basically. And we heard the clicks, so what you're going to need to do is close the netbook and flip it over. Okay, so once it is flipped over, you could get your flat thing and you can gently, once again, very gently pry up on the cover. And you'll hear a few snaps. This is just the cover coming off. Once again, be very gentle. Now in the corner, you should see your RAM slot. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna press on the two metal tabs on the side until it starts to pop out. You can also use your flat thing if you'd like, if that's going to help you. And you need to pull out the RAM stick. Put that aside for something else. And take your new RAM stick and gently take it out. Make sure pack. that it's the same size first of all. That's the first thing that you want to do is make sure that it's the same size as the old one. So here we have my old one. Here we have the new one. And the notches line up. It looks the same size. So let's go ahead and put it in. So you're going to want to make sure that you're putting it in the right way. So make sure it lines up with the notches. And once you can feel that it's slid in, you're going to want to press it down. Don't be afraid to apply too much pressure. Sometimes it feels like you might be doing that, but you aren't. 
it takes a lot of pressure to get it in sometimes. Now, once you are done, you can go ahead and put back on the door. Now you're gonna wanna put it on closest to the battery first. So make sure that all those notches line up and it's perfectly in. And then you can press down everywhere else and uh, just make sure that it snaps Okay, in. now once the back door is completely snapped in, you can go ahead and flip the netbook over, open up the lid again, and you're going to want to replace all the screws that you took out. Make sure that you replace all of them. Okay, so now once you've gone ahead and put in all the screws, you're gonna to wanna to put the keyboard back in. So first, you're going to want to reconnect that ribbon cable. So, take it very gently. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the cable is resting inside of the connector and then press down on the black hinge. Just make sure that it's connected and you can flip over the key. Okay, now start by putting the bottom part of the keyboard in first and then just pressing down in all the corners until it's firmly in. Okay, now at this point we can see if our RAM upgrade has worked. So you're gonna wanna flip over the netbook and put in the battery. And once you put in the battery, just turn it, turn it around, hit the on switch, and if you see Windows or whatever OS is installed start to boot up properly, then you have successfully replaced your RAM. Thanks for watching and I hope I helped. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out my website at kaguda55techtutorials.com and check out my Facebook and Twitter page. All the links are in the description below.